Hey, Kelsey of Rejuva Health here, and I'm so excited. Today we have with us Dr. Bunky, um, physician and vein specialist of the La Jolla Vein Care Center, which is her practice, and she's going to share with us some of her knowledge and expertise as it relates to compression. Thanks so much for being here, Dr. Bunky. Thanks, Kelsey. Thanks for having me. So, some of the most common questions I hear are in relation to not only what compression is about, but who should be using it and how they should be using it. So my first question for you is, um, in general, day to day, is there, is there a certain group that could benefit most from something like compression? Well, really everyone can benefit from compression. What we see on a daily basis are patients, patients who have varicose veins, um, women who are, are pregnant during their pregnancy develop varicose veins. So we, we use it in daily practice as mm -hmm. a treatment for vein conditions and also for preventative measures for vein conditions as well. In general, anyone who has a standing occupation, sitting occupation, so for example, someone who sits at an office uh, desk all day long, mm -hmm. um, re people in, in retail who stand on their feet all day, uh, flight attendants, um, teachers, we have lots of um, this, we see this type of occupation quite frequently in our, in our practice. Um, and then also people could benefit from wearing compression to reduce the risk of blood clots, for example on flights. We always recommend to wear compression stockings on long haul flights. You mentioned that one of the biggest myths that you encounter is that compression is going to cut off your circulation by it being tight, especially behind your knee. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Is that the truth? What should we look out for? Yeah, so medical grade compression improves circulation. It doesn't cut off circulation. So people often ask that. They say, you know, is compression going to cut off my circulation? They feel tight. They feel like they're cutting off my circulation. So it's important to make sure that what you're wearing is medical grade gradient compression. So with the gradient, what the gradient is, it's the, it, it gathers compression. It, it makes compression the tightest around the ankle and it gradually eases as you move up. So because of that, it gets the blood flowing in the upright direction. So what people are concerned about is if they have compression socks that perhaps are, there's one gradient. There's not a different uh, a gradient of compression. So certainly that can be counterproductive. So based on this information, as long as this patient's purchasing a garment from one of the brands you've recommended that has this graduated compression, um, they have nothing to worry about, correct? Right, graduated compression is beneficial. So another question we hear often is, what's the difference between compression sock and stockings and TED hose that you might get in the hospital? Can you explain the differences between those to us? Absolutely, so they're completely different. So TED hose, if you're not sure what they are, those are those white stockings, those white uh, stockings that they usually give you in the hospital if you're laying in the hospital bed or sometimes mm -hmm. you can find them in your local pharmacy. Those are completely different than compression stockings. So TED hoes are good only for non-ambulatory patients, meaning patients or people who are bed bound. So what they do is they help prevent blood clots for people mm -hmm. who are not moving. However, people who are moving and people who are standing upright, the effects of gravity are so much stronger than they are when you're lying down. So because of that, you need something with a lot more strength and a lot more compression to counteract the effects of gravity. So anyone who's, who's walking, who's moving around in the ambulatory should not be wearing TED hose. So oftentimes when people first hear my story, that I was 21 when I got a blood clot on a plane flight, they assume, oh, you're an anomaly. That's nice. Yes, that is different. I should pay attention for that reason, but I don't have to worry about that. It's not common. Do you see a lot of the anomalies like myself in your practice? Absolutely, and I don't consider you an anomaly at all. We actually see, since we deal with vein conditions all day long, every day, we see quite frequently young women who develop uh, really? blood clots, young women and men. There are many circumstances where you can develop blood clots, and in your case, it was flying. We do see several uh, patients who have had blood clots on, on from uh, airplane, airplane uh, flights or long car travel, or even in some cases just sitting at your computer desk for too long with not getting up and moving around. So we actually really? do see that. There's many other conditions that can cause blood clots. Um, pregnant women and being in the postpartum period, the hormonal changes can certainly increase your risk of blood clots. So for that reason, all pregnant women should wear compression stockings. So we see okay. it for in a variety of circumstances. Do you have any tips along with compression stockings um, that our viewers could benefit from knowing? One thing I work on doing is drinking more water, getting up and walking around, 
Would you agree with that? And are there other things you would suggest too? Absolutely. So you want to keep to keep your legs healthy, you want to keep the blood moving. So you want to increase that circulation. So compression stockings do that externally by providing some external support. Uh, moving around, walking, the, the, the calf muscles pumps, pumps your deep veins and gets the blood blood moving, staying hydrated. Uh, if you're sitting for long periods or, or on flight, certainly uh, stand up, take breaks, pump your, pump your calf muscles, get moving around is certainly a big one. For more on Dr. Bunky vein health and vein health information, be sure to check out LaHoyaVeinCare.com and for all your compression needs, be sure to stop by RejuvaHealth.com as well as CompressRx.com. See you next time.